Apple the target of complaints about its approach to user privacy. That's a rare position for the company. Critics say the iPhone maker has gone too far with its new efforts to scan devices for known images of child sexual abuse. Is Apple being a good corporate citizen or overstepping its bounds? John Ford is here to weigh in. John. Melissa, Apple is absolutely overstepping here. I mean, Apple, which built a reputation on protecting user privacy. Apple, which coined that catchy phrase, what happens on your iPhone stays on your iPhone. Apple, which refused to give governments the keys to crack the iPhone encryption for criminal investigations, is now going to snoop through our photos. I mean, this isn't about child pornography, which, of course, is horrible and should be stopped. It's about our phones being an extension of our modern selves, carrying data about where we've been and when, who we saw and why, what we said, what what we searched, what we downloaded. And now Apple has given itself permission to conduct an unannounced automatic search of the images on that device. It's not what Apple is doing. It's what they're getting us used to. This is a digital version of the slowly boiling frog, people. I mean, this, this is sure. I'll let them automatically search my phone for this illegal content I don't have, because what's the harm? But the problem is I've gotten used to giving a company permission to automatically search my phone which is crazy. We live in an era where a few technology companies have quickly emerged as global power players in communication and commerce, but it's really hard to hold them accountable. So we don't want them in charge of our civil liberties. That's what's at stake here. But John, Apple says they're not actually looking at the photos on your phone. Isn't that, I mean, that's a big difference. Yeah, on the other hand, Let's not make this more cerebral than it needs to be. Apple is doing the right thing here the right way. Okay, facts. Child sexual abuse is horrific. There's a whole cycle to it, and the images are part of it. If you could have iCloud turned on, Apple has devised a method of determining whether bad images from a known database exist on your device without looking at the images themselves. It's like the images leave a fingerprint and Apple can dust for prints. Your privacy is protected. Now, some critics are worked up because Apple's doing this search on the device, but that's irrelevant. In in fact, searching on device is likely more protective of privacy than doing it in the cloud. Also, let's not kid ourselves. This is not some new frontier in surveillance or Apple expecting a new level of trust. If you have Find My turned on, Apple's system knows where your devices are and therefore where you are at all times. Same goes for Google with Android and Google Maps. If you turn those cloud services on, you are essentially using Apple and Google's computers for your convenience. The minute you turn on a cloud service, you're trusting the cloud provider to keep its promises to you. And up to this point, Apple's been a lot more protective of user data than the government has, Melissa.